What's going on guys? This is Justin or Restaurant Revealed and in this episode it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to show you the quality of food that the, uh, the average restaurant uses. You know, is it canned? Is it fresh? So let's start over here. Uh, we have artichoke hearts canned, uh, pineapples, mandarin oranges canned. That's not really that much. And then uh, our marinara sauce is canned as well, sadly enough. Uh, move over to our pasta. It's all dry. It's all uh, massively bought. We don't make any of it homemade. Um, there is our spice shelf. It's really not even that impressive. Um, I don't know. Pretty standard, I would think. Then we go into the walk-in. Um, this is actually pretty typical. Most people might think that it's not. But uh, what we do is we cook off um, about two to four pounds of pasta uh, every day and then we use that we have fettuccine spaghetti um, here's our chicken this is actually fresh we buy this fresh from the uh, local produce store uh, clean it grill it off and then finish it in the oven so that's pretty fresh uh, we make our pesto and our ranch dressings and that's uh, pesto mayo on top and ranch mayo on bottom. Uh, moving over here, we have a very slim selection of produce. We have our tomatoes, lemons, uh, green peppers. We have broccoli. Uh, I believe that's cilantro, zucchinis, celery. And then, uh, sadly enough, the rest of our dressings are uh, bought, not made. Uh, we actually do make our own homemade Alfredo, but not marinara. Not a lot of sense, that one. Uh, that's more Alfredo. We buy all of our lettuce massively from Cisco. Uh, there we have our wraps, our cheeses, backup keg, beer, milk, buttermilk, a 30-pound container of mayonnaise. It is extreme. Uh, and then, sadly enough, shredded Parmesan cheese. Uh, if you look down there, big cheese. Uh, we're in the freezer now. This is our, if I can get this off, I'll show you. Maybe not. Anyways, that is our frozen breaded chicken. Uh, we actually do home make that. We buy it from the local produce store, uh, coat it in buttermilk, and then toss it with uh, flour, uh, black pepper, garlic powder, and grated Parmesan cheese. Uh, we actually do get all of our doughs in fresh, believe it or not. Pizzas, large doughs, uh, but all of our desserts are bought from the Dream Factory. Um, comes in frozen cheese curds, comes in frozen fried zucchinis, uh, crab imitation there. You know, so it's it's a mix. It really is, you know. It's a mix. You go to different restaurants, uh, you're going to see different things. Uh, let's go out here. I'll show you this fridge. Um, kind of same. These are uh, pre-made sandwiches we use. Cuts down on time. We have more dressings down there, croissants. Um, this is our pasta fridge. Stock them all up on pasta. Uh, our tortellini comes in frozen, unfortunately. Uh, moving on, this is our frozen fridge. Calamari, seafood, crab cakes come in frozen. Seafood, seafood cups we actually uh, cook off ourselves. A shrimp and crab mixture. Uh, frozen fish. And then finally we have our cup fridge that we use. We have meat cups, uh, pancetta portabella, uh, carbonara cups, steak cups, uh, anything you can really think of. We have manicotti down there, bought frozen, pepper jack cheese. Uh, we have actually freshly sliced prosciutto and Havarti in the back. And then there are sauces. Uh, our pestos come in store bought. And uh, yeah. That's just about the average look at the average fridge of an average restaurant. Thanks, guys. Peace.